And most people are really well aware that our Puget Sound is struggling. It is dying under the context of toxins and pollutants. Um, we're also seeing increasing challenges from climate change of ocean acidification. But we believe we can take on this battle of addressing ocean acidification. And one of the ways we can do that is actually through nature's own processes. Oysters. Oysters are one of the cleanest ways we can clean our waterways to make sure that we're getting those toxins out. And through a partnership with the Port of Seattle, we are now planting uh, three tons of oysters on about 25 acres right here in the densely populated urbanized area of Seattle. This is the newest of 10 sites in the acidification near shore monitoring network, which is 10 places around Washington State where we're measuring the progress of climate change and acidification in shallow waters near shore. So we have sensors in the water that are every 10 minutes taking measurements of the acidity and the water temperature and we're studying practical management options. As you can see behind us, enormous amount of activity um, that obviously is leading to contaminants within our Puget Sound. We're always trying to help clean the contaminants, bring in the opportunity for eelgrass that is one of our biggest, what I call blue carbon. Ultimately, the goal here is to be able to remove what would be a thousand gallons of gasoline burnt in a year, would be put into the sediments out of the impacting the climate. For us, this is an opportunity not only to clean our Puget Sound and make it healthier, but also to be able to reduce our carbon emissions. We're hoping to start to rapidly combat that and do it not just in our rural areas, but also in our most urbanized areas.